um, Emory, and I enjoyed the film, and I thought it was very um, interesting. I thought it was very inspiring as well, seeing these women in Africa actually doing something that people, you know, do want to do, but the fear, uh, fear trying to chase the dream because people just fear feeling, and I think they have an opportunity. Uh, and they go for it, and I hope, you know, they can go far with their dreams and aspirations. Okay, hi Kazito. I just watched your short documentary, and I really liked it. The fact that you are empowering women, that's something that's special to me, and I would like to encourage you to keep doing that. And um, I, I could see that it's meant a lot for those women, and um, it's given them an opportunity chase their dreams so keep doing it and well done. Three, two, one. Okay. Hi Kizito, I just watched your documentary and this is amazing, you're doing a great job. I'm very proud of you, thank you for uh, empowering women. As one girl said there, women are nothing without men, so we need partnership, we need to work together with men. Thank you so much for the good work you are doing and we're here for you. Thank you. Peter, it's uh, fantastic to see this because it's a uh, it's a new um, area for someone like myself. I, I have Russian heritage, and uh, I understand what it's like to be in a sort of a, a marginalised environment, and more so from your perspective, where it's cultural and artistic. So uh, I wish you all the very best, and I, I think there's some great fun raising opportunities in Perth. It's a very wealthy city. So uh, I'm not sure about your movements, but if you have an opportunity to come over, it'd be great to meet you. And I have a few uh, contacts in the business world that are, uh, have spent a lot of time in Kenya, and maybe there might be some opportunity to raise some funds so you can continue your fantastic work and really enjoyed your documentary. Hey, Kizito, this is Shiko here. Uh, obviously, uh, you know me T tonight. We've just come from seeing the documentary, and I'm telling you, like, it, there was no dry eye in the room, like there's so much uh, passion in those women and thank you for the work that you're doing on the ground, mentoring those women. This is just the beginning of a big thing, like we all agreed after the documentary, after seeing it, that there's so much in there, there's so much fabric to the stories of those women and we will be here to support you long term. So this is just the beginning of the big thing that's going to happen, it's going to explode all over Australia. I'm sure it's already happening in other parts. Um, as you guys said, you're doing a UK tour and we're very excited to see uh, the stories unfold and all those dreams getting fulfilled. So keep being fearless and keep pushing the dreams and uh, we're here to support you. Hauko pekea ko sawa. Love you. Hey, Niaze Kizito, are you feeling me make fit sana? And I think I really enjoyed just the, 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 the film work that the crew are doing, just in terms of particularly the drone shots um, and just the way you kind of gone through the community and just seeing it from above actually just gives her the, the idea of, you know, the place. And um, I think also having the women also credited. I think that was a really important step to see that the women are not only subject to this film, but they're actually participating in co-creating it with you. So I think this has really demonstrated the, the talent that's really available, and also the fact that you guys are actually out there doing the doing every single day, and that you're just not waiting, you know, and you're just ready, and I, and I think the opportunity to bring the film here in part by our wonderful brother Elm here actually is a godsend that your film now stands alone, you know, beyond the contacts that you made with us or someone like me that is from the community, now you're actually partnering with someone that is actually coming to you for the film. And I think that for me shows your tenacity, your resilience, your investment, that over the years you've continued to perfect your craft and you've, you've um, taken this work seriously. And I mean, the uh, the women were saying sometimes the film doesn't pay, and that's just the reality. But despite that setback, which is a very big setback, you guys keep showing and bringing films every time. So we're excited to see what this journey continues to be, and hopefully much and bigger, bigger things ahead.